Johnson and I want to share with you today a technique using essential oils that is designed to help relieve pain. Uh, this technique also is you can apply any essential oil for any number of ailments this way but we're going to focus on pain and what we have found is that we can actually replace some of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories by using this technique and these oils. And that's pretty exciting for a lot of people because they worry about the damage to some of the organs that can happen with the drugs that we use. So the ones that we know are good for pain, wintergreen is good, lavender, um, lemongrass, peppermint, marjoram, and also frankincense. And now that is not by any means all of the oils that we can use, but those are six that you could reach for and use on your dog safely and relieve the pain. Now the thing about essential oils I just want to quickly say is they really, you know, um, quality counts. So just running down to the local health food store and buying essential oils is not really what you want to do. You want to make sure you're getting a medical grade essential oil. And what I'm using here is absolutely medical grade. So the ones I'm going to reach for to show you this, what we call a raindrop technique, is going to be wintergreen, peppermint, lemongrass, and lavender. Okay, so Seamus, who has so willingly decided to be our, our, our little subject to show us how to do this, um, he's going to smell beautiful when this is all said and done. So basically the rainbow technique. One thing that we recommend doing so for all of you out there who believes in energy work um, is what we call a balancing. So I'm just going to use a little bit of lemongrass, but I typically use a product called Serenity, which is more of a kind of a balancing or even just sedating, almost calming blend. But you're going to put a drop or two in your hands. You rub your, your palms together. And then you're going to put one hand kind of over the shoulder and one over the rump. And you're just going to literally, it's kind of a meditative thing. And kind of close your eyes and calm. And what you'll see is that you will start to feel more calm and the animals will start to feel more calm. And sometimes they'll actually sigh. And you feel your, the palms of your hand and they'll start to heat up. I'm actually feeling heat generating in um, both hands equally and you see how he just laid his head down so you can do this for a few seconds you can do this up to a couple of minutes if that's what you feel like your pet needs okay so he he really relaxed into that okay so now let's get to the raindrop technique what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the bottle of oils over their back and basically this is from rump to the neck or to the base of the head and up the spine, okay? You do not need to shave the hair, you do not need to part the hair. It'll actually absorb right in, and we, we, we now know that the follicles are part of all this, and how it works, and how it actually benefits them. So, you're gonna hold the bottle up about six inches, and just one drop, move up, one drop, move up, one drop, and you're gonna just do a drop about two to three inches apart, all the way up, okay? So I'm gonna try to get him to sit up, because he's, He's a little nervous about being on the camera. Here we go, big boy. So I just like to kind of put them between my legs, get them sitting sphinx, sphinx style, if you can. But yeah, bud. Yeah. Come on. There. And then I'll kind of put my, my legs here so he doesn't roll over on me. No, Seamus. Relax. Come on. Come on. Sit down. Down, down, down. He's front of the camera. He's camera shy. And then just stroke him. Because, you know, you're asking him to be put in a position he's not wanting to be put in. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to start with lemongrass. And I'm going to start from his rump. And I'm going to go up to his neck. So just a, about three to six inches is what we recommend. And if you drip more than one drop, it's not the... An, there is no technique here that is right or wrong, so you cannot do this wrong, really, guys. And the reason they say six inches is that is, theoretically, what it takes to break through the energy of the dog. The energy, um, basically, there's an energy field around them. So once your drops are dripped, you're going to take the backs of your hands, and in just short three to six inch strokes, you're going to go against the hair and you're going to stroke 
up the back. And I'm just going to scooch up here. Again, guys, there's nothing here that you can do wrong. And you can see how he is just really relaxing into that. And then I come back here and I do it again. Every animal's different. Some dogs, they're like, you know, it's a moving target. You're chasing them around the room. Um, others, they just relax right into it. So you do what works best for your animal, okay? So now I'm going to move on to lavender. And we're going to do the same thing. Just about six inches. And some of these bottles drip easier than others, I have discovered. So you do want to try not to, like, pour the entire bottle on them accidentally. <laughs> Not that it would typically harm them. There are very few essential oils that are actually um, in any way dangerous to an animal. The one I would like to mention is um, Malaleuca or tea tree. You really, really want to be a little careful. Some dogs are actually sensitive to it. And cats, it can be toxic too. So I do not recommend reaching for that with the kitties. Um, the other things that kitties are a little um, sensitive to are the citrus blends of all things. So you see I'm just taking the backs of my fingers and I'm just stroking right up his spine and look at the look on his face I mean he's just really relaxing into this and he likes it and I think part of why I love this technique so much is it really um, it just makes the animal happy and then as I sit here and breathe in these oils it makes me pretty happy too all right winter green and then this should And what we have seen is, and, and as a Western trained veterinarian, I mean, I use the non-steroidals like Remedil and those different ones out there. And when you need them, you need them. But we are finding that if we are teaching our clients how to do this and, and giving them, you know, proper guidance, we can really minimize the amount of those drugs that need to be used. So for a pup that's just older and has some creaks and aches, this is a really, really wonderful modality to use for those pains and um, it's kind of amazing to see them get up and move so much easier than when they laid down here to get this therapy done and you know if you have the time taking 30 40 minutes to do this is awesome now in the clinical setting I typically am not going to have that kind of time so I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to show you once you put all your oils on there's just one last little step to the raindrop technique and then that is it I'm pretty okay here we go buddy Ooh, feels so good dun, dun, dun. so my camera girl's probably over there thinking oh this feels so good too Ooh, I can see his hair coming out are you shedding on me buddy He's like, yep. all right okay so once you've got all the oils on and you've done the back stroking then the next step is you're going to take your palms of your hands and you're just going to literally just down the spine four five six times and this just again it gets the blood flowing it gets those oils um, down into the hair follicles the other lovely thing about this is those oils are getting aerosolized as well they're up in the air and so he's inhaling those while we're doing this technique as well Okay, there it is, guys. That's the raindrop technique. That's what we use to apply essential oils for many different modalities, many different ailments. Um, in this particular case, we were addressing arthritis because that is probably one of the most common things that I see in the clinic, and I know that concerns you guys out there is that your animals are in pain. So I hope that helps. Remember, um, you, wanna, you, you almost cannot harm them doing this. There is no right or wrong way, but you must, you must get essential oils that are of a high quality grade. Okay, thank you so much. This is Dr. Amy Johnson, and I hope that was helpful.